Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to see the resume of a fourth year student whose name is Rohan Patankar and he has recently created three job interviews in the data science part and uh, we'll try to understand his entire process. The reason why I'm making this specific video because I get a lot of question, you know, that why, why freshers are not able to make much transition. You know, they also say that, Krish, whether an experienced person will be also be able to make a transition or not. And I still believe and I'll always tell you that anybody can make a transition towards the data science industry. And for that, you really need to follow a simple process. And that specific thing I'll be discussing over here. And I will be also showing you Rohan Patanka resume being a final year student what all things he has basically written in his resume, what all kind of projects he has written, what all kind of internship he has done, you know. And based on this, we'll discuss the entire process pipeline. Now, before that, I'll just read out his message. He has basically pinged me yesterday only in the WhatsApp. He said, hello, Krish. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, this is Rohan from MLDL Masters. I have placed in Synapsica. Okay, Synapsica is the company as a paid AI internship and full-time offer. I'm very thank you and I need on team for wonderful teaching. Thank you. Okay. And you can just see this. This is the MLDL Masters. Okay. So this batch is not a job guaranteed program by iNeuron. Okay. So I asked him that, uh, are you a fresher? He said, yes. How did you apply for the job? So he said that I am in the fourth year BTEC student through LinkedIn. I randomly applied to AI ML jobs around 10 companies. Landed from that 10, I got shortlisted from two, three companies. And finally, I choose one company that is Synapsica with intern and full time offer. Okay. And uh, then I just try to understand what is the process and all. He said that around two to three rounds were there and they mostly focused on use cases and end to end projects and what all things he had actually written in the resume. So there is a, a kind of discussion that we have done. They, they had asked about deep learning, transfer learning technique, ResNet, these all things, right? And the second round interview, they tried to ask him about ML ops because he had written in his resume. Based on that, they need to they they basically asked him the end to end projects and all. And uh, later on, I asked him his resume, like uh, how he had actually prepared the resume. So I was pretty much impressed. And that specific resume, I will be showing you to you right now. And with respect to that, I'll also be discussing about the process, which will actually help you to make a transition guys see there are jobs but if your resume is in right process if the kind of pro work that you have done is written in the resume if you're able to prove them trust me you'll be able to do that and this is the most common thing that i've seen in most of the freshers resume who i cleared the job so let me go ahead so here is Rota rohan patankar you can check out his linkedin id so his linkedin id is somewhere here uh, all the information will be given in description rohan patankar so here you can see him you can uh, also contact him. He'll be happy to guide you with respect to anything at any point of time. I've also taken his permission. And you can see how beautifully he is a final year student, how beautifully he has actually created his GitHub profile, everything, the projects, you know, the GitHub link. Let's say he has done this text data summarizer using Hugging Face API. So here you can basically see everything is properly given and in a better way. And he's written all those things even with the deployment. Here you can see workflows is also there. CI, CD, YAML file is also there. Everything is there. So he has actually done some good amount of work with respect to this. He's deployed to Heroku. And being a fresher, I think that is more than enough. Okay. Now here you can see how beautifully within this one page, he's completed his entire resume. Okay. You can see over education, internships and training. As I said, guys, for a fresher, it is super important that you have to do internships. Okay. Internship is super important, right? As much as internship, if you can do in, in, in your college, that much learning experience you'll get and you'll be also able to explain that many number of things. So he had done internship in iNeuron from Valuecom Info Solution Private Limited. Uh, machine learning uh, trainee he has before that he had done in 2021 his projects are also very good you can see consignment pre price prediction on-site health diagnostic web app he also had some idea about front-end development you know instagram clone using ruby not front-end but using ruby he had some technical sales uh, some other skill sets and here you can also see the technical stack is written so nicely all these things now obviously his resume will be a catching 
catching part right because he has written everything over here with respect to the things that he know he's written about ml of stool d dvc ml flow ci cd tf extended circle ci jenkins we cover all these things in our i neuron courses guys that is the thing right we try to make this curriculum in such a way that as soon as you complete it right you will be able to work in the industry ready right so here you can see ci cd we have covered with circle ci jenkins we have also said uh, taught with github actions and many more then you have web development programming language databases cloud development deployment and containers so all these things now see he's also deployed in aws beanstalk ec2 heroku netify get docker so so many things he has basically done and this looks like a very very good resume altogether right please do rate him down in the this comment section just try to write it but i love this resume now let's understand about the process what all things you can capture from his resume that is super important in his resume he has basically done the internship from this to this month internship is very very much necessary okay to know the kind of work for a fresher definitely super important i'd always suggest that always do that as an experienced person just for practice sake you do the internship try to implement some end to end poc solutions right you not write in the resume but to increase your experience you really need to do that technical skill part i really liked all the personal projects that he has done along with the github link is basically given okay now with respect to linkedin he said that he applied in linkedin for around 10 to 15 jobs now if i go and search for data science over, over here right you'll be able to see there will be so many different job openings if your resume is like this there is a high probability that it will get selected okay so my suggestion would be that go ahead apply for it here they will be saying that 2 to 4 years experience is required 1 to 5 years experience is required don't worry i've always told go ahead apply it you will be seeing the difference right and in i neuron also what we have actually done is that we have also come up with this job portal now if you probably go and search any kind of jobs like data scientist full stack developer principal hd hd one senior data go ahead and apply for it for whatever experience you have right you just go ahead and apply it create a resume from here and you go ahead and do it but the thing is that do it only when you think that you are now ready to actually make a transition or you are able to work in this kind of projects at any point of time right this is super important to understand again coming back as he said he applied for 10 jobs and out of that three jobs he was able to clear it with respect to two to three rounds and finally he joined one of the company so linkedin is obviously a good source let's say with respect to linkedin i also want to basically learn about python or a data analyst any kind of jobs it is always there i feel data analyst all this kind of work opportunity jobs are definitely there guys you can see with respect to this also right senior analytics consultant right all this kind of job openings are definitely there start applying for it right this is super super important unless and you'll keep on applying but always make sure that you change your resume if you are not getting a response that is super important to do it okay now along with that you can also see his projects let me just go through his projects over here in github right so here you have data summarizer you have all these projects which he have actually written you can definitely check it out guys that is very very good right so at the end of the day just let me know what is the rating that you would like to give me and the best thing is that rohan i've asked the rohan permission that you can also ping him in linkedin you can ask for any kind of queries his entire preparation plan whoever are freshers who are still in college you know please go through that and please go ahead with that okay one quick announcement guys with respect to i neuron all the courses on i neuron are available in 30% off please go ahead and utilize all these live courses are currently going on it will be amazing for you for your learning process and all all the information regarding this will be given in the description of this particular video so yes this was it from my side always remember one thing follow the process please make sure that you follow the process you will be able to crack it so yes this was it from my side i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one all bye bye